Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to Smart 4 Home. Today, we've got a quick and handy guide for you. We'll be diving into the steps on how to reset your Ring doorbell. Whether you're troubleshooting an issue or just looking to start fresh, we've got you covered. So, let's jump right in. Section 1. Why? Reset. Before we get into the nitty-gritty, let's quickly discuss why you might need to reset your Ring doorbell. It could be due to connectivity issues, software glitches, or maybe you're preparing to pass it on to a new owner. Whatever the reason, a reset is often the solution. Section 2. Types of resets. Now, there are two main types of resets you can perform on your Ring doorbell. A soft reset and a hard reset. Soft reset. First up, the soft reset. This is a quick and straightforward process that won't erase your settings. It's like giving your Ring doorbell a little digital refresh. To do a soft reset, simply press and hold the orange button on the back of the device for about 15 seconds. You'll see the LED light spin and, once it stops, release the button. Your Ring doorbell should now restart. Hard reset. Now, if you want to go a step further and perform a hard reset, this will wipe out all your settings and restore the doorbell to its factory defaults. To do a hard reset, press and hold the setup button for about 30 seconds. You'll notice the LED light flashing, and when it stops, release the button. Your Ring doorbell will go through a complete reset, erasing all previous configurations. Section 3. Setting up again. Once you've completed the reset, you'll need to set up your Ring doorbell again. Make sure to have your Ring app handy, follow the on-screen instructions, and reconnect your doorbell to your Wi-Fi network. This process is similar to the initial setup when you first installed your Ring doorbell. Conclusion. And there you have it, folks, a simple guide on how to reset your Ring doorbell. Remember, whether it's a soft reset for a quick fix or a hard reset for a fresh start, these steps should help you out. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone who might need it, and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for tuning in to Smart 4 Home, and I'll catch you in the next one.